Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Engine House. I am your host, of course, Gandy Dancer. It is mid-November. It's getting close to Thanksgiving. It's cold out there. I have a little buddy heater going in here, warming this up so I can shoot videos out here still. And if I need to do some work out here, I've got that going. It, uh, it, it's a big help. This building, as you can see, is not insulated. So <laughs> it gets it, it's the same temperature in here as it is outside. Uh, most times, if I need to run in here and grab something, that's no big deal. If I need to work out here, I start the heater in advance and let it get warm enough in here so I don't freeze. Anyway, uh, I've got some new Christmas decorations here going up soon. Uh, you can see back here, they've got some, uh, pick these up, some candy canes go in the yard. And uh, these are some big huge light bulbs i don't know where we're going to put them yet the wife liked them so we grabbed them um some uh fake packages there's another one floating around here somewhere i didn't see it so and some nice we're going to hang these on the front door in a little bit when we start decorating uh, now that we're off back on the grid when we were off grid the cabin was too small we didn't decorate because it Two of us, three big dogs, and two cats. It was where that wasn't going to happen. It was way too crowded. So we didn't decorate there. And now I have some antique decorations that were passed down to me when my mother was weeding stuff out. She had a lot of old stuff that she split between my sister and I. I have a lot of those. I have some other stuff that we did, and we bought some stuff last year. And I even bought a bigger tree. If you look at my Christmas video from last year, the tree was a three footer and I decided we need a bigger tree. I have more decorations. Uh, you know, I didn't put even half of what I had on the tree. So we have a bigger tree now too. That'll go up. So <laughs> go up, go up, not, not too soon. Um, the rule of thumb in my house when we were a kid was the tree went up about a week before Christmas. My sister and I started putting it up. A little earlier one year and then it went two weeks before christmas and then usually right after the first of the year the tree came down that's pretty much what we'll be doing here okay <laughs> we're not going to get too carried away anyway the reason i i i've shot this is uh i've talked about in a couple of previous videos i know i have um when i was 14 i worked as a candy butcher for the wolfboro railroad and that was an old self-propelled uh, coach that had started life as a on the uh, on a as a combine coach on a narrow gauge line, and they converted it to standard gauge, and they put a motor in the baggage compartment, and they had different motors over the years, and then we got it, and it had a they put a gas motor in, the guys at Wolfboro Railroad, and because we didn't have a turntable, they put controls at the other end. So they could sit there and can go, you know, control it going back towards Wolfboro. And they ran that between Wolfboro and Salmonville. And I worked on it for a summer selling candy and postcards. And it was the highlight of my life. That was like the best thing ever. I have very fond memories of that summer. And that's in a previous video. I said that is kind of what got me into model railroading. All the old guys there that worked at the railroad had a model railroad set up and I just started, you know, I, I was fascinated by it and I just kind of the old steam engine, the whole thing. I was just, I loved it. It was one of the things that got me into model railroading. And I've been wanting for a long time to recreate that particular coach. It's a combine coach. Um, the baggage compartment, of course, at one end, and of course the seats. And it wasn't a very big, you know, coach. It was it was old. It was I, I want to say mid eighteen hundreds, maybe not quite. It it was definitely not. It was wooden, not not steel. So it was pre steel era. It wasn't very big, um, and uh, I have never found anything. I've looked at combine coaches, O scale, and most of them are huge. You know, they're just, they're absolutely gigantic. And a lot of them have two big, they're just, they're, they're just a baggage coach. They don't have any windows or seating in them. They have two big doors on each side 
and they're for the mail or baggage and you know whatnot and they wouldn't work uh they're also too big for an 027 you know they wouldn't they would have they would have had difficulty making turns they're, they're big enough and i finally s settled on i started looking at trolleys and most of them the older post-war pre-war lionel trolleys just had one set of trucks underneath and they were stable they didn't move um just four four wheels two axles they were small and i i was getting a little little aggravated and i kept poking around and kept looking and i finally landed on an old 27 trolley that i do believe will do the job and here we have it now of course the these will have to come off uh the doors here this will come out and there'll be a bigger door here it'll it, i can't i have to look at some older pictures and uh, the picture of me the thing is kind of on an angle it's hard to tell for sure how big that door is the uh the the, the baggage compartment door that slid kind of hard to tell how big it is in the picture in my you know memory and then it had an, uh, another door for people to enter to the to the seating area and it was kind of back behind the first set of trucks so the trucks would have been a little further forward possibly the, I matter of fact I know they were um, I may move these up a little bit and we'll see what happens I will have to cut this one end of this to make uh, uh, an area for a radiator if you look in the picture that'll be up here somewhere there's a, there's a radiator on the front and of course, there's a cow catcher on either end. Um, so it, there's some things that are going to have to change on this, but this honestly is the right size. It's 027, so it'll go around the uh, the radius of my layout, and it ha is the right length. Uh, this this end here will, of course, be more windows. One end of it, I don't know which. Yeah, it depends on where I start. But these set of doors on this side or this side will come off all together and there'll be windows here and um, the windows and then there'll be this the uh, the cargo door and then a door for people to enter the, the seating area just like the one was there. Now, when I get started on this, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows? Um, this has... Uh, it uh, you can see I, I I will be playing with this. There's a lot of electronics. Um, supposedly it runs. We'll see. And this uh, these are powered. I'm and it looks to me like I can probably move move these up a little bit. We'll see. I'm gonna have to look at some pictures. I, I'm looking online. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a Wolfboro Railroad Historical Society. I did not know. I found them uh, just recently, and I sent them a message asking them if they had any pictures of that particular coach better than what I have. I have very few pictures of it. Uh, my mother took that one with me hanging off the side, and that's the only picture I really have. And the other pictures I've been able to find, the coach is too far away. It's crossing. If you've ever... If you look it up online, like uh, the uh, the railroad to save, you know, they don't like going in turns. They like going in a straight line. They actually built causeways, uh, dropped granite, huge granite stone, and built the rails right across lakes. Um, so they kept that line just as straight as they could. And and I have a, a picture I found of that coach crossing one of those causeways and it's in between the trees but the thing is so far away it it's it's hard to really get any detail out of it so you know there are some things that i'm going to have to uh, uh, hunt down and i'll get as close as i can um for instance it did have i was looking for one with this style of roof because that's what that coach had on it um there also is a was a wood stove at one end and there, I think in the picture, there's a there's a stack sticking out of the roof 
um, where the stove was because they did run it in the fall. They had a couple of fall runs and they kept the fire going so passengers would stay warm. Also, the uh, the roof would ex would extend and slope down here and here um, on both side on both ends. Uh, that you can see in the picture. You can see the front one of it sloping down. So I'll be having to do some work on this. A lot of modifications going to go into this. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Um, once I get back to work in earnest on the layout, I'm just about there, just about, um, I will, uh, I, I will little by little, I'll start, if I can find better pictures, I'll start disassembling this. I also need to find, there are no hobby stores anywhere in the, in the county that I'm aware of. This is a huge county. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this end of Maine, the crown of Maine, the county up here, Aroostook County, is as big as the state of Connecticut and the state of Rhode Island combined. Okay, it's a huge county. Uh, population's not so great, uh, but it is a big, big county. It's the biggest in Maine. And, uh, but there are no hobby stores up here. Um, not for model railroading. I've heard that there were some over in uh, uh, New Brunswick, Canada. I don't know where exactly they are. Um, the wife and I are going to have to do some exploring when we get a chance. Uh, there's Fredericton, which is a couple hours away. Uh, they've got some stuff there. Maybe I can find. They got a, a Michaels there, which is I buy all my paints when I was out west at Michaels in Coeur d'Alene. They've got a Michaels in Fredericton that's two hours away. I'm going to have to make a list, and hopefully the wife and I can run there. They all they have a ton of yarn, my, which my wife crochets, and she's always always in the market for yarn. <laughs> so we we'll, we we'll have to make a run out there. And if we, if we slow down enough so we're not just constant um, with her working and me working on the house, we just haven't really had a chance to just take a breath. So maybe there's a hobby shop there. I don't know if Michaels carries that kind of stuff. Um, I can't remember if they did in, in Idaho. Uh, there's supposedly there's a couple of hobby shops closer by in New Brunswick, but I have not been able to locate them and nobody can really tell me where they are. So I'm going to probably have to order some styrene online and maybe possibly a few other tools to help me cut that so that it's coming out right. And we'll see what happens. So it's not something that's going to be done overnight, but it is something I've been wanting to do for a while and now I, f I finally found, I said, the trolley is the, is the right size, the right coach to turn this into that self-propelled coach. So I'm looking forward to, to doing it. And uh, it won't be an exact um, above the windows on that coach. There was a lot of, there was the Wolfboro Railroad. I have to look at the windows again because I put this back in the box. But if you see how those windows are, I may be able to cut the tops off and fill that in with styrene and put Wolfboro up there, make that a little bigger. I ha again, I have to look at the, uh, the, the pictures when I can get a, some decent shots and see. It'll be as close as I can make it to the one I worked on at 14. That was a long, long time ago. <laughs> and, uh, so it'll be something I'll be starting on soon, I hope. Uh, if not, it'll be uh, after the first of the year. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. Um, again, I, I am trying to figure out a way to revise the chant, revise, change things on the channel a little bit. And once I get working on the layout in, in earnest, there'll be more videos of me working on that and of course you'll see shop kitty who again is not here i won't bring her out here um there's too many places for her to hide and i'm not chasing her around the the, the shop here uh she she goes down in the basement that's that's where she'll that's where she'll be and you'll get to see her as she's pestering me down there i also have a, a brand new uh, bench grinder with a wire wheel uh, some of the old track 
Um, as uh, again, the humidity in the basement before we got the uh, uh, before we got the uh, uh, heat pump water heater installed, uh, the, the humidity down there and the moisture was really really bad, and uh, some of the track, the old track, rusted. And I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to. I have a. I have a wire brought wheel that'll go on the bench grinder. I can clean it really well there without having to do it with a Dremel. And then I can put on. I broke some track taking it off the layout. And I know I can repair it. I don't throw stuff out if I can fix it or think I can fix it. I'll try to fix it first before I chuck it. Um, and that'll all get cleaned up, and some of the ties on that will get uh, painted again. Um, if they were black, they'll get a new coat of black paint. If they were wood grain looking, I'll leave them alone. Um, but anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave a comment. It, it honestly, it helps the algorithm. It helps things out, gets me out there a little bit. Um, I, 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 when the last time I looked, I had 174 of you following me, um, leave a comment, tell me what you think. I'm up for constructive criticism. If there's something you'd like to see different, or you say, Hey, maybe you should try this or, you know, leave a comment. Uh, I'm always up for it. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I've been doing this off and on for a couple of years and I'm still learning. Um. So here we go. I hope you all have a great day and uh, a happy Thanksgiving. I don't know if I'll shoot any more uh, with the holidays coming up. I have uh, I have three more uh, craft fairs that I can sell my books at to go to. I'm all packed up and ready to go, and uh, I'm going to be pretty busy with that as well. And then one and the holidays. So I don't know if I'll get another one in until sometime in December. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time. Bye for now.